everyone. Welcome to Good Taste. I'm Jay Angie Patton. It is patio weather, and this is a patio like no other. We're at Aldaco Stone Oak. You're in for a real treat. Blanca Aldaco shares her recipe for her enchiladas verdes. Check them out. All right, everybody, it is springtime in San Antonio. Time to hit the most beautiful patio, Aldaco Stone Oak, and have some great zesty margaritas and wonderful food. And I'm with La Maestra Blanca Aldaco right now, and she's going to show us how to make her green tomatillo sauce. This stuff is incredible. And we get the recipe. That's it. Basically, Tanji, what we have today, we have an enchilada verde that is 100% natural, and you're really going to enjoy the flavors. Enchilada verde typically 99% of the time is made, of course, with chicken. So mm -hmm. in this case, we're going to talk about the amazing salsa verde. What we have here, we have what is called a tomatillo. Right. This is not an immature tomato. Basically, this is a fruit. A tomato is a distant cousin of the grape. You will find the tomatillos at any supermarket in the produce section right next to the poblanos, jalapeños, because they go hand in hand. Okay. What you want to do to make about 12 enchiladas is purchase about one pound of tomatillos. You purchase them about the size of a half dollar coin. They're great. This means that they're good in flavor, in size. They're not too tangy or tangy, or they're <laughs> not too immature, or they have lost their flavor because they're too large. What you want to do is remove the skin right here, and you discard, and you continue to open up and open up. Okay. What we have then, eventually, you're going to have your tomatillos, and you're going to end up adding them in boiling water with onion. I recommend only white or yellow onion, not purple, because it will change the color and the flavor of your finished product, and some diced bell pepper. Very simple. The last thing that you do to seal the deal and make uh -huh. it a salsa, what you do here, you're going to add one jalapeno, see, complete. You don't have to open it up. Just okay. remove the stem, boil that. When you finish, what you're going to do, you're going to end up with something like this. Vitamin C galore. This has got to be way. incredibly healthy. Okay. So we're going to proceed to blend that with fresh garlic and fresh cilantro. <laughs> Basically, Tanji, what happens, this is a wonderful secret, that you have fresh garlic and fresh cilantro. The salsa will be so aromatic, it's the best part of the enchilada. The next step is that we're going to dip the tortilla in and out of the hot oil. You want to lay it gently and allow it to get covered. You're going to lift it out just for just a second. You don't want it to get crispy or anything like that. It's just a matter of seconds. Just a matter of seconds, that's correct. What we're gonna do now, this is my own technique on how to roll an enchilada. What I'm gonna do, I have the chicken. Basically, I'm gonna place the chicken in the center of the tortilla. I'm gonna grab half moon, push back, and tuck. The best part of the enchilada is the sauce. We're gonna stir that up. You're always gonna go from left to right, away from you. And I love to do one spoonful per enchilada. Generous, be generous with it. Slowly, very nice. It's time to melt the cheese. You decide how much cheese, whether you want just a little bit or a lot. Whatever it is, make sure that it's flat. That way you have a beautiful piece of work that's edible and you fall in love from the moment you see it. So there, there you have it. 100% natural, you just decide how much cheese or how many dairy you would like, but in this case, it's really good for you, and bon appetit. It is delicious, Blanca. Mm. Gracias. A ti, amiga. It is patio dining, a perfect place to be this time of year. Now, before you leave the site, don't forget the New World Wine and Food Festival is coming up right around the corner. I have a link on my website to all the wonderful food and wine events here in San Antonio. You'll definitely want to check them out. Till next time, everyone, enjoy.